Hi, I'm Jamie Davis, and in today's video I want to talk about working with layers in Inkscape. And before I talk about how to work with layers, I think it's important to talk about why to work with layers. So here's a project that I uploaded to Inkscape, and it is a quilt that I designed. Um, when I designed it, it didn't just show up nice like this. I needed an awful lot of uh, help. So one thing that I like to do is on my very bottom layer, I like to put registration lines. So if I click on that, now all of a sudden you can see that there's an awful lot of horizontal, vertical, and diagonal lines, and that helps me make sure everything is centered and perfect just the way I want it. But I don't want this to go through and be printed out on the final project, so I can get rid of those lines simply by uh, hiding this layer. In addition to drawing the quilt, I decided I wanted to design the quilting that went along with it. So in this layer, you can see my palm quilting, and then I've got my daffodil quilting and my border quilting. And I love putting all of my different um, designs on different layers. I can always combine the layers later if I want to, but it helps me keep things separate and design things better. So how do we do this? Let's go to a different project. Here is a quilt block that I drew just on uh, paper and, and uh pencil and brought it into Inkscape and I want to convert it to an SVG file, a digital file, so that I can manipulate it and work with it. So right now it's just a JPEG, so it is on here. When I click on my layers and objects, you can see that it is on layer one. Sometimes it says page one, sometimes layer one. I like it to say layer one, so if I ever want to change the name of my layer, I will just click right click here click rename layer and I can make it anything I want. If I want to say this is my base layer, that's maybe a, a good thing to do. We'll put it as base layer. Um, now I know that this is my drawing and this is the layer that ultimately I am going to be getting rid of. It came in, it looks a little bit messy. You can see all sorts of fold lines and different things. It's not perfect. So I want to draw over it. Um, one thing I want to do though is make it uh, change the opacity of it so that it's a lot lighter. So when I do draw over it, I can see what I'm doing. So the way I do that is I will click on this little icon here that looks like a sheet of paper with a pencil and it's called the fill and stroke layer. As I do that, this comes up and you can see down here my opacity line is blue, it's a blue bar, and it says it's at 100%. So I want to change that. So I will grab it with my mouse and I'll drag it all the way down to it says just about 25%. So now this has become a lot lighter. And so when I draw over the top of it with Inkscape, I will be able to see where I am. So now I want to come back to my layers level, which or tab, which is this three little sheets of paper. Click on that and I've got my base layer done and I'm going to click lock because I don't want to put anything on that. I want to eventually be able to throw this layer out to delete it. So in order to start drawing though, I'm going to need another layer. So I will click on this little sheets of paper with a plus sign on it, create new layer, and it's gonna say base layer one. Well, I don't want to call it that. I wanna instead call it uh, layer two. So let's just rename it to layer two and it says above current. I can add it above current, below current, sublayer, whatever I want, but I want it above the current layer, layer. So I will add that in. And that's all I have to do. Now, let's say that for some reason I want to move an object from one layer to another. This happens all the time. Sometimes I change my mind on the way I want things to be and I want to move them. So let's say I want to take everything on the base layer and move it up to the layer two. I will click on base layer and I will have to unlock it so it allows me to work with it. It's already highlighted. If it wasn't, you can make sure this little icon here is clicked and then merely click on it and it will select itself. I am going to go over here to the very top where it says layer, click on that, and when I come all the way down, there's a move selection to layer option. So click that, and now I can choose that I want to move this all to layer two. So I'm going to click move, and up it goes. So now when I put the eyeball on, when I turn that off, nothing happens because it's not on that layer anymore. Instead, it's on this layer. So that is how I move those. And then if I want to move layers around, I can take my layer two and put it down there and now base layers on top of layer two. So there's all sorts of ways to manipulate objects on a layer and layers themselves. And that is how we work with layers. Thank you for my, so much for watching my video. If you liked it, click the like button and subscribe. Thank you.